Hi, good afternoon. Mark Everling, sales manager from Lavery Automotive Alliance, Ohio. Hey, I want to send over a quick little video of this uh, 2013 Tundra that you inquired about. What I do, just kind of go over the whole vehicle with you, point out some pros, cons, some of the stuff you wouldn't see in pictures. Uh, this way, I'll we'll bring surprises for when you come in. And really, I, I just see some minor stuff, and I can have some of this stuff touched up and stuff like that. But if you look right here, uh, right here on the fender, there's a, there's a little chip right there, which I can have that touched up. And there's a couple on the hood kind of throughout. There's... Uh, a little one right there, there's a little one right there, a little one right there, uh, a little one right there, and then there's just a couple a couple little small spots on the hood. Um, but like I said, I can have those touched up for you. I don't really see any major flaws on it uh, on the front end. We did put uh, brand new tires on it, so it does have brand new uh, tires front and rear. And it does appear that it's been uh, undercoated. You can tell by looking at the frame in there, everything looks real good. Uh, it does have the uh, nice uh, bigger running boards on it. And on this side, I just see some just some light stuff. I mean, it is black, but if you look right here, like there's a light a light little scratch right there that's not very deep. There's a little bit more right here in this area. A little chip right there that I can have touched up. A little spot right there. It's pretty small. Um, on the bedside, there are some spots. If you look right here, there's uh, some spots right there. There's some little light stuff in there. There's some more right kind of in this area. A little bit up in here. There's a couple little spots there. And then down here, there's a couple spots right there as well. I mean, it is a truck. Obviously, if uh, you use it for any truck purposes, you know, hunting or anything like that. Sometimes you'll get little little spots like that. Uh, if you look at the inside, it's got the uh, the gray interior, which it uh, appears to be a non-smoker. Seats are in real good shape. Showing the carpets here. Carpets are real good. But it's got the uh, AM FM CD, front bucket seats. Got your USB auxiliary plug-in, auto dimming mirror. It's got all your sunglass holders and storage compartments up there at the top. The inside is really, really nice. Nice and clean. Uh, look in the back. I don't see any stains or anything on any of the seats. No car seat marks or anything. I am missing the, uh, the plastic little cover that covers that auxiliary plug in there. And it does have the uh, sliding window in the back. It's got the bed liner in it. And then on the back tailgate, there's a few few little spots. There's some light surface stuff in there. A couple little spots on the tailgate. And then there's some spots in here. There's a little ding right there. A couple scratches up at the top. Bumper looks good. I don't see any dings or dents or anything on the uh, chrome bumper. And then just uh, some stuff on the bedside here. Just a couple little spots right there. A little spot right in that area. I mean, that's because it's super clean. I just washed it, and obviously it's black, so if you drive it for a day, you probably won't even see any of this stuff. Right here on the door handle. A little spot there. Driver's side seat looks good. It's a little crinkled down from when you sit on it, but nothing, nothing major does have a trailer brake in it um, and I'm not sure what else they had there but uh, there was something else there but trailer brake and then I forgot to show you on this spot up here on that I don't know if he had something setting up there but there's like little glue marks right there on top of the, the dash pad anyways uh, any other questions let me know 330-680-3032 thank you